Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about the configurable workspace for CSM or CSM slash FSM configurable workspace. Now a little bit of preamble on this one. It is not new to San Diego, it just got migrated over to the next experience in San Diego. And I might have caused a little confusion with the previous video I did about service operations workspace and not needing agent workspace. So agent workspace isn't going away. It's used by both ITSM and customer service management. And you can still use agent workspace for customer ser service management if you're wanting to do things like tie in with ITSM and different applications. However, that's been available, I think since Quebec, the CSM configurable workspace is a place that lets you do the same things you do around customer service management and field service management but in an extensible workspace. So you're able to go in and modify it, uh, add new things to it and personalize to your organization's needs. Unlike agent workspace, which is slightly configurable, but just not as many options. So just to kind of show the case, this is what the CSM configurable workspace used to look like pre-San Diego. In San Diego, now we have this new UI where I can jump into workspace settings like that. You saw there, let me click on it again and I can go to CSM FSM configurable workspace. And when I use that menu item, I stay within my same browser tab. So I'm not popping out to a new experience. Now in San Diego, CSM slash FSM configurable workspace did get a facelift. So it's got the nice look and feel. You can come in, you can turn on dark mode if you want. So here I am, John Jason, I'm gonna go ahead and make my CSM FSM experience in dark mode. It's gonna take it a second to flip that over. And now you can see, oh, this is really dark. Um, I got it in dark mode and I can see all these nice lists um, laid out a bit differently than we've seen in Quebec and Rome. My performance widgets, I'm working on this. I don't know what's going on with these. Um, having trouble actually configuring my CSM configurable workspace, but that's a story for another video or when it's fixed, I'll show you. Um, response time, resolution time, your organizational performance, all those things that we know and love that's been part of our CSM configurable workspace experience. I can still come in, you know what, let's switch this theme back so it looks better on video because I know I'm going to regret this when I come back and watch this for post editing. So we'll go back into the normal mode. Dark mode's great for when you're fatigued and kind of high strain, stuff like that. But when you're doing demos, I probably should stick to this one. But I've got my um, new creation menu on my workspace, right? So this is gonna open up new tabs for a new interaction or a new case. Let's go ahead and try a new case. And case form looks the same as it always has. Um, there is a slight change in the colors and stuff like that, but most of this stuff uh, just above my head is gonna stay the same as what you've been experiencing, but we'll just to show it, we'll put in a test one here and let's make sure this is assigned to Mr. Don Jason. And we'll click save after that. And I'll move my head over to the left and I'm just gonna call your attention to these little guys on the right hand side there. Um, so they've got the recommendations, you've got the next best actions, next best actions. Um, agent assists. We've got the record information, attachments, templates, response templates, and uh, related records all associated with the case, right? So nothing has really changed there. Um, on my list view, I can go through, look at the different things that might be related to my job around walk up and cases and escalated cases and case tasks and complaint cases and onboarding cases. And then more importantly in CSM, my customer account information. And don't forget those industry data models around accounts, partners, contacts, consumers, and households and household members. Can't remember, can't believe I remember all that stuff. Knowledge articles, work orders, if we're talking field service management, I will do another video showcasing the dispatcher workspace in the CSM slash FSM configurable workspace. We've got our inbox where John can come in and say, hey, I'm available, I'm available on these channels, or I'm on break, or I'm on active on a call, and then you can accept and reject as you configure that um, or have configured it. If he did have any ongoing conversations, um, whether those are asynchronous or synchronous, they'd show up here on the ongoing conversations panel. So that's pretty much it for CSM, FSM configurable workspace. Like I said, not new to San Diego, but did get a facelift, a new UI, matches the rest of the experience within ServiceNow. And so uh, maybe worth upgrading just for that. And you still may want to use agent workspace if you want to tie in things like your customer service to your IT service management, IT operations management, project and portfolio management, and the like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or even share it with somebody who you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.